obviously, I mean, I will get faster in time, but if I, what, what I mainly focus on is accuracy because, you know, you see so many people saying that if you practice on accuracy, speed will come. No, untrue. Yeah, I've always felt that that's like a... Complete, that is completely false, categorically false. Because that by that definition, learning to walk is going to make you a faster sprinter. Or learning to jog is going to make you a faster sprinter. It's not. Objectively, there is a difference in the neurological process when you play fast than when you play slow. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it, it, doesn't, it, doesn't, it doesn't make sense to... For me, so, so like, when you were, I mean, today you have pretty good speed, but I imagine you never, not always, you had that speed. So, what did you like? Did you practice with exercises, or did you just learn songs that demanded more speed? Both. Yeah. It kind of grew with the music. The cross picking thing came about by practicing Steve Moore stuff, and I took, I basically boiled that down to little exercises, and I always played faster than I was advised to play. You know how right now I told you how to, uh, to practice slow? Yes. Yeah. To figure out the technique. To get faster? No. I wanted to get faster, so I really I really played fast a lot. And my teachers were telling me, no, don't do it. Play slow, blah, blah. Gradually increase your speed. That, that kind of stuff you hear. It's not true. Because uh, it's, 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 you can investigate. It's called an open loop versus a closed loop. Uh, it's a no neurological process. Did we cover this before, by the way? I don't think so. I, f I feel we did. Okay, no, we didn't. Okay. To keep it short, when you when you play a note, brain sends out. This is layman's terms, by the way. I, I'm not an expert on this. This is how how I understand. I explain it to myself. So yeah, you you strike a note, s brain sends signal to the muscles. Execute note. Muscles send signal back to the brain to give it feedback. Okay. Right. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. So, and that works just fine. That means within a lick, you go, oh, yeah, this felt good. This didn't feel so good. Oh, yeah, I got to make a tiny adjustment to jump to that next note. It's all fine. At a certain speed, you cannot do that anymore. Why? Because this, this loop, this loop of motion and feedback takes a couple, couple of milliseconds to go around. And mm -hmm. it's, at a certain point, two notes executed after another are quicker than that loop. And therefore, yeah. the brain has to send out a chunk of motion at the same time. Yeah? Yeah. And, and yeah. within that chunk, you cannot change things anymore. As soon as that chunk is sent out, your fate is sealed. There's nothing, okay. nothing else you can do about it. So in order for you to become faster, you need to get into the closed loop. You need to practice within the closed loop. Do you know the sensation that if you play slow, if you play this stupid one, two, three, four exercise, if you play it slow, how you can focus on every note, but when you play fast, the only thing I notice is the first note on every string. Yeah. I'll make it. Let me use a different pick so it sounds a bit clearer. This one sounds a bit muddy. You can hear it better. Here, up, down, 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 up. I can have control over everything. Here, I only have control of the first note. Yeah, uh, so how does, sh should I, like, look, I, I imagine if I were to bring this out, I would, like, practice the, the, you know, the group enough until I got it, and then do... Yeah, as soon as, as your fundamental technique is good, you push it. Okay. And then you don't worry about cleanliness. Yeah, this sounds counterintuitive, but then you just screw how good it sounds and how clean it is. You have to go faster than you can, and then the chunks will form, and then the cleanliness that you attained on the on the slower speeds is gonna is gonna apply to that. Okay, so if I so I should practice slowly as clean as I can, and then just push it and essentially hope for the best. Yeah, as soon as, as, as your fundamental technique is good. Okay. As, as soon as you feel I'm doing the right thing. Because you need to do the same right thing at the high tempos. Exactly, yeah. But you just need to do it faster. And you need to trip over yourself a little bit to get it. Okay. 
I mean, yeah, obviously, it's not going to like go like just work. It's probably going to fail, but. And if you're too clean, you're not pushing yourself. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, the only way to know that you're going faster than you can is if you fail. Right? I can just dem try to demonstrate it. Yeah. Um, This is with a clean tone, so it's kind of rough. Let's, let's go 190, maybe. <laughs> right? That's it. Way too comfortable. This is not pushing anything. So I need to, I need to, I need to find my boundaries here, and then, and then step beyond them. By the way, I need to, these picks—they're amazing, but they, they last like half a bar. Are, are, are those uh, the old types? The sharp ones? Yeah. Can, can I ask, uh, would you mind showing me them um, in comparison to a, to a Jazz 3? Yeah, way different. I used to play Jazz 3s my entire life and I just switched to these for a couple of things. Oh. It's way, this is way bigger and way thinner. Oh. So, 200? Yeah. It's not a challenge. I need to go beyond that. This is very personal, by the way. If you reach your peak earlier than that, let's just do 210. Yeah, this is probably something I spend a bit of time with. Yeah. And 220, and that's gonna be just terrible. feel yeah this is kind of pushing it I'm getting a bit, bit of strain here so it didn't fall apart or anything but this is kind of where I would spend some time and I'm also doing those little breaks in between so uh, I have time to rest my hands because if you if you if you if you tense up then your different muscles with, will engage to compensate and that's basically training false technique oh, so uh, yeah, that makes sense because I, I I used to practice a lot that John Petrucci uh, that like a. It's what I just did. Yeah, the same thing. And and like after after a while, I got to I remember I got to one sixty at some point, and I just I just halted. You know, I just couldn't do it anymore. And and you know that was my limit. Like I could I wouldn't be able to improvise at that speed. And That's I. That's the point. Complete. Yeah. And I wasn't getting cleaner, so then I just, you know, I, I, I kind of like stopped and went to do something else because I didn't know what to, like, when, when you get there, when you... Yeah, you need, to, you, need to, you need to go beyond the 160 and play very short bits. Oh, okay, like, get to my breaking Can point you just do it for me, please? Can you play that exercise right there? We fi we'll, we'll find a speed that works for you. Cool, yeah. Uh... I don't think I'll be able to play it at that speed anymore because. Uh, don't worry. It's it's absolutely this is absolutely personal and. I, dude, you're 18, so you're you're gonna practice this, and in six months, I'm telling you, you'll if you do that, like I, I described described that you'll probably put at least 30, 40 BPMs on top of that. Thanks. I hope so. So uh, do it like with pauses and. Yeah. Do it. Be favor. Do one note first. Do. Da -da 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 Let's see where that that maximum is for now. So I'll put like one thirty five, just for good measure. Yeah, it's too slow. You can tell that right away. Too slow. Cool. Uh, one fifty. Yeah, we need to approach closed loop here. Cool. So. Yeah. Show me. Show me your guitar. Yeah. Yeah, shorter bits, just do da 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 Yeah, fine, go higher. Yeah, I can go higher, yeah. I think, uh, let's see, one, 160, let's see. Yeah, I think this would be 
close to my limit. I think I, I could No, fire. no, your limit is way higher than that, trust me. You just don't know. So, let's see, 174. <coughs> the other thing is also, it, I don't know if, it, if it's because my guitar has a Floyd on it, and, you know, it's I just maybe outgrew it, but my position, like, I think my arm is could be... Uh, yeah, I do the same. I, that is something I have to remind myself a lot of, yeah. And... I don't like if I if I do it over the Floyd, it's gonna be like, you know, it's gonna uh -huh. be out of tune. So I don't know. For some reason, I never had that issue. Some people said they did. I never had that issue. My my hand is rested somewhere here, not on the Floyd. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. It's and also, I don't apply a lot of pressure. I just let the the hand sit on there, basically. Yeah. So uh, let's see, one seventy four. I mean. Yeah. Yeah, we found it. I mean, it's not as it's not hard, but it's like I'm not keeping time, so I guess that's probably Yeah, like, this is where you're pushing it and that's where you need to be. That's that's the place you need to live in for a little bit. You can I probably go faster. Try 190. I think we can get a couple of 16s at 190. And this is excluding the left hand and strings crossing. The string crossing is where it gets tough. Yeah. Um, but we just erase that for now. We just want to find your, your speed. Do it. You can do it. You just got to trust yourself. Sorry? You, you can do it. You, can, you just have to trust yourself. Let's, also, like, I think it's learning to do the motion while not tensing. Up. You know why it sound when you when you said oh when you when you did like, had like the big eyes when I did it the, the only reason that was I wasn't playing faster than you I was just applying my left hand to it in a very synchronized manner and you could hear the notes very clearly but the sheer speed I bet you're as fast as me picking a single note. I'm not faster than anybody else. I just figured out how to get across the strings. And I figured out how to match my left hand upon uh, along with the uh, right hand. Wow, cool. Mm -hmm. So, um, let's say I do this for a while, like, uh, like, you know, and then, like, yeah. Like <coughs> you know what the left hand is really doing? Do, do this. This? No, this after another, like, like if you. Oh. Uh, Oh yeah. Okay. So but, but, you see, but. you can do it. There's the potential. There's the potential to play that fast. It's faster than you play. It's there. Pretty much anybody can do it if they just figured it out properly. So I, I just I, I start to I, I get this like and then start increasing the amount of notes I play. Would that be correct? Like yeah. Don't worry about it for now. Just increase the speed. Okay. Um, cool. And if you feel comfortable, then you play that twice. Yeah. 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 It's gonna happen. You, if you work on your music, you don't need to worry about that. This is, we're just practicing technique. We're looking at one thing in isolation, that's all. Don't worry too much, just do it. Just get faster, just get faster. And then you, you, will, you will obtain some, a certain amount of muscle memory that, that, you can, that applies to anything you do. Nice, thanks. It's like, like a lot of people, when I show them how to play chord tones over changes, they worry way too much. How does this apply to music? It doesn't. It's an exercise that shows you where stuff is. Yeah. Don't worry. And then... hmm? Awesome. Thanks. Yeah, you don't need to worry about phrasing. That will come. You already have phrasing. You just, you just don't know how. You didn't know you could move your hand so fast. Now you just need to consolidate that a little bit. It'll, it'll, you'll get so much faster in no time if you do this. Find a couple of exercises that you that that lend themselves to playing fast, and then just push. Oh yeah, 
And then, I mean, if, if, I, if I were to do, like, instead of, like, like, yeah. Like, That's what I mean, different exercises, different, different combinations of string crossing and fingers and blah, 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 blah. And all kinds of combinations, anything you can get your hands on. But it's really more how you practice than what you practice.